Once the sharpening stone has been soaked for at least 20 to 30 minutes, place it onto a small, wet towel to secure it in place. Just make sure it is flat and not in your way. Start by adding more water to the stone, as it should always be moist. A common sharpening stroke is to run the edge of the knife into the stone like this. However, the disadvantage to this method is that it will carve deep grooves into your stone and damage it. Another method is to sharpen your knife in sections. While this method works, the pressure tends to be more in the middle of the stone, causing the stone to eventually become concave like this. To properly position your knife for sharpening, it should be at about a 20 degree angle. To find this angle, start at 90 degrees, half that to 45, and then a little under half of that will be about 20 degrees. Another way to estimate this is to slide the tip of your little finger underneath the knife. You can go slightly under 20 degrees to create an extremely tapered edge However, for the home cook, 20 degrees is a good angle. To grip the knife, hold it with your dominant hand and then place your thumb where it feels comfortable. Then with your other hand, comfortably spread your fingers to secure the blade on the stone. To begin sharpening, position the tip of the knife at the base of the stone around here. The stroke should end with the heel of the knife at the top of the stone here. Don't worry if you don't sharpen the entire length of the blade. You can work the tip and the heel later. Focus mostly on sharpening the middle portion. Remember to maintain that 20 degree angle. If the angle is too flat, then the body of your knife can come into contact with the stone and will scratch it like this. For even sharpening, keep the blade on the stone at all times. Do not lift the blade like this, as this will force you to readjust your angle with every stroke. Pressure should be applied on the stroke that sweeps off the knife like this. Do not apply pressure on the stroke that carves into the stone. You might find it helpful to say these words as you sharpen. Pressure. No pressure. Pressure. No pressure. Pressure, no pressure. You also don't need to press too hard. The pressure should feel easy and smooth. Always apply less pressure on the stroke taking you back to the starting point, just enough to secure the same angle. Even though both hands secure the knife and maintain the proper angle, your elbows and arms should also move in a constant, steady motion. Once you get the hang of it, you may have a slightly different style than shown here. After a while, a fine metal slurry will form. This slurry actually helps to sharpen the knife. If it starts to sound and look too dry like this, make sure to add more water. Rotate the stone from time to time so it wears evenly. Continue with the same stroke on the first side of the knife until you feel a burr on the other side with your thumb. The burr will feel like a curled edge as shown here. Also, check to see if the edge is even from tip to heel. Focus on the sections that need more work. For the tip, sharpen in large ovals applying pressure on the stroke that isn't carving into the stone like this. Remember, pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure. For the heel, it's fine to work up and down like this. Again, apply pressure on the stroke off of the knife. Once all sections are done, feel for the burr again. Once you can feel the burr along the entire edge of the first side, it's time to work the other side. To sharpen the other side, 
turn the knife around, but keep your hands in the same position. This time, the heel of the knife starts at the top of the stone, up here, ending with the tip of the knife at the base of the stone down here. Again, apply pressure on the stroke that takes metal off of the knife. Just maintain that same angle and find a good rhythm. Remember to sharpen the heel and the tip of the knife. Once the burr is created along the other side, you will need to alternate strokes on both sides, starting with about 20 strokes on one side, then 20 on the other side. Then move down to 15 and 15. Then 10 and 10. Then 5 and 5. And finally, one stroke on each side for about four to five strokes. Throughout sharpening, you can wipe your knife. However, do not wipe the blade in your hands. Make sure to always place a towel on the counter and wipe the blade like this. To test how sharp the knife is, you should be able to easily cut through a piece of paper like this. 